Welcome to BYU Pathway Worldwide. I'm J.D. Griffith, Vice President of Administration here at BYU Pathway. I'd like to congratulate you on your important decision to pursue education. The choice will bless you throughout the rest of your life. Whether you are just starting school or returning after a break, we're glad to have you with us. Joining BYU Pathway Worldwide and progressing toward your goals is an exciting step. You may be nervous about a few things, and this is completely normal. You might be wondering what you're supposed to do first, where you can ask questions and receive support, and specific things you can do to be successful. Don't worry. All of these questions and more will be answered in this webinar. I know what it's like to feel anxious about going back to school. Several years ago, I began having promptings that I too should go back to school. However, with five young children at home, a full-time job, and a busy church calling, I could not comprehend the idea of also enrolling in school. With the love of a supportive wife, I trusted in the Lord and chose to enroll in an online graduate program. Now, during that time, I learned no one is alone when pursuing education. The Lord will always help you. And at BYU Pathway Worldwide, so will your instructor, your peers, and your service missionaries, if you are in a Pathway Connect location. Now, here are a few things you'll learn in this new student orientation video. First, you'll see a video that will introduce you to your student portal. Then, you'll hear from students like you who share their tips on how to be successful. That discussion will be led by our Vice President of Student Success. And finally, you'll hear a special welcome message from Clark G. Gilbert, the President of BYU Pathway Worldwide. Please remember, each of us is here to support you as you balance your studies along with your many other responsibilities. We know you can do it. Welcome to your BYU-Idaho online degree program, presented and coordinated by BYU Pathway Worldwide. You may access your Pathway portal by clicking the Sign In button on the top right-hand corner of BYU Pathway's homepage, or you can go straight to the login site at www.byupathway.org forward slash sign dash in. You are a part of a group that has early access to the resources all online degree students will eventually use. What this means is you will have a slightly different experience than other students who are also in the online degree program. Your courses and degree are provided and awarded by BYU-Idaho, but the BYU Pathway Support Center is here to help you with any questions you have along the way. The Pathway Portal for online degree students will help you throughout your time as a student. It contains important information and will connect you with the different tools you need to be successful as a student. On the main page, you will see important messages, such as registration deadlines. You will also find tips to help you as a student and inspiring messages from church and academic leaders. On the left side of your Pathway portal, you will see links to BYU Pathway social media accounts that you are invited to engage with and access to your degree planner tool, which we'll explain in greater detail a little later. On the right side of your Pathway Portal, you will see a link under Courses labeled Go to Class. This link will take you to your courses in Canvas. Beneath the Courses section, you will see some Quick Links. The New Student Checklist is a list of things you should do before the semester begins to get you ready to be an online student. Clicking Get Help with Degree Planner will take you to a form to report any issues or questions you have about your degree planner. After the form is submitted, you will be contacted by an online advisor. Textbooks and supplies will show you the materials you need for the courses you are registered for. And finally, academic deadlines will show you important dates, like the last day to withdraw or when tuition is due. At the top of your Pathway portal, you will find several useful resources. Clicking the arrow at the top right corner of the page will open a drop-down menu. Here you can update your personal information, access the bookstore, the library, view and request transcripts, and access your BYU-Idaho email account. Email is the official method of communication for online students, so make sure you set it up before the semester begins and check it often. Your instructors will contact you through your BYU-Idaho email. Under Finance, you can select Make a Payment. Students in the United States can also access their financial aid portal, see financial aid resources, and use the Program Applicability tool to see if their classes are eligible for financial aid. Under Resources, you can find help with your degree planner. You can access tutoring and you can request an enrollment verification. Under the Academic Planning link, you can access your degree planner. 
Your Degree Planner is a graduation planning tool that allows you to plan for your courses each semester, get information about your degree, and register for your courses. On the first day of the semester, you will be able to access your courses in Canvas by using the Go to Class button in your Pathway Portal. Canvas contains all of the activities for your course. You will find reading materials, have discussions with your classmates, submit assignments, and take quizzes and exams. Your instructor will interact with you in Canvas each week through announcements and feedback on your assignments. You can also find your instructor's contact information in Canvas and can contact them whenever you have questions about your course. Assignments in Canvas are typically due on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but be sure to check the deadlines your teacher has for each assignment. Each week you should plan about three to four hours of studying and working on assignments for each credit you are registered for. If you ever need help, the Support tab of your Pathway Portal will take you to a Frequently Asked Questions page that is updated regularly. Here you can also contact BOU Pathway Support by email or chat. There is also a button within your portal to chat with BYU Pathway Support. The BYU Pathway Support Center is open 24 hours a day, Monday through Saturday. You can also contact an advisor by clicking on Consult an Advisor on the Help page. This will lead you to a form that you can fill out so an advisor can contact you. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. As you start your semester and have questions, we encourage you to reach out to your instructors and BYU Pathway support for assistance. Welcome to your online degree program. Hello and welcome to BYU Pathway Worldwide. My name is Ben Packer and I'm the Vice President of Student Success. Every day my team works to find ways to help our students to be successful. We meet with students at local gatherings where they live but often we use video conferencing like this to connect with students all around the world. I recently met with students like you and asked them what their keys to success are. What you'll see here for the next few minutes are a few highlights from our video conference. As you take this very important step in going back to school, I encourage you to log into your class on the first day and become familiar with all the resources that are available to you. I wish you the very best of success in the semesters ahead. After reaching out to another student, they, were, they had said to me, well, why don't you talk to the instructor about it? And as soon as I did, everything fell into place. And so I would say one of the biggest things would be to not be afraid to reach out to your instructors. I also had just as much success reaching out to uh, fellow students in the discussion boards. If I was having difficulty with something, I'd post a post on the discussion boards. And uh, the vast majority of times I, I got the assistance that I needed quickly. Uh, even before the instructor oftentimes was able to look at it and uh, they'd point me in the right direction or at least help me a little bit getting in the right in, in the right spot very helpful and then the second huge resource is the tutors um, especially when you're when i was taking hard classes like accounting and economics and those tutors if it weren't for them i never would have made it through those classes the school has a lot of resources that students i i agree with what paul or with what you said that they don't, maybe they don't know about them or they don't utilize them to the fullest extent. And tutors are, are one of the biggest ones. In some of my harder classes, I, you know, I had an appointment scheduled with a tutor every week to, you know, go over that material. Another thing that I did um, in some of those harder classes is I kind of, on the discussion boards, I just put it out there if anyone would want to start a study group. And in one of my anatomy and physiology courses, there was six of us and we studied every week. And we used those tutors and all of us got A's in that class for the semester and it was just awesome. A uh, big key to my success was my family. Um, I work part-time, I'm a student part-time, callings and other life responsibilities. So being able to sit down with my family and explain my expectations. So I had to have those conversations with my family that said, you know, from this time to this time on these days of the weeks, mom's not available for mom duties. You've got to go to dad or figure out something else. So I experience a lot of anxiety and it's really hard managing working full time and going to school because I'm sitting down in one place all the time. And so I've really developed a strong testimony of prayer and the comfort prayer gives to me. And so um, definitely, I don't think you can do this without uh praying and relying on the Lord because it, he really does help you during this time. I really gained a testimony of priesthood power as I have continued in my schooling. I rely on that power. I ask for blessings fairly often, something that I, I never really thought of before, but it's become aware to me that, that that's why we have that power. That's one of the, the reasons 
to aid us and and comfort us and guide us in difficult mm -hmm. times. And school for me is sometimes a difficult time. So as I have asked for priesthood blessings, I have found the comfort or the strength that I need to carry on whatever the day or week or month looks like for me. Because most of us do have jobs, callings, families, and um, usually your assignments will open up uh, a week, maybe sometimes two weeks in advance. So you do have the opportunity to work a little bit ahead sometimes. Um, it just depends on your professor. And so just finding those moments or those times um, to take advantage of like a Saturday afternoon when you might have some downtime or just using that extra time that you can find throughout the week to maybe get a little bit ahead. So I would say that checking my canvas or um, my like homework list every day, even if I knew I didn't have anything, sometimes things would pop up or people would uh, respond back to my discussion board and um, really checking it every day helped me stay on top of things. And it really helped me do the best work possible, I would think. So it's all about planning ahead. And what I would do is I have a little example. Um, so at the beginning of each week, so I didn't overwhelm myself, I wrote out all of my classes and I would go through each class. I know it's kind of bad, I don't know if you can read it, but I'd write which day in red, I'd say, okay, I have an assignment due in this class on Tuesday. So I'd write Tuesday and I'd write Tuesday. And I'd find out where all of my assignment due dates were. So that way, every day during the week, I'd wake up in the morning, I'd look at my little list and say, okay, what do I have due on Tuesday? And then that would be my, you know, my assignment list for the day. And then I'd cross it off and go to bed and move on to Wednesday. I feel a greater sense of stewardship of my time and resources that the Lord has given me. I feel like the classes that I take and the efforts that I put into them are a way that I can show Heavenly Father how grateful I am for what he has given me. I've, I've taken a few other online courses, and one of the things that really impacted me about the courses we took through Pathway and BYUI is is, is really dedicating the time. Um, a lot of courses, when they say it's, you know, three or four or five credit, uh, five, three or four or five hours per credit hour that you need to study with Pathway and BYUI uh, classes, you really do need to spend that time and plan that time. The guilt of taking the time away from my family. Um, I'm sure we've all been there. And sorry if I get a little emotional. Um, that to me was one of the most difficult things. And sitting down with my family and having that discussion and seeing their support was something that helped me overcome and be ready. I am not an emotional person, sorry. <laughs> but it helped me be ready so that I could um, know that that time was for me. And in the end, my family would benefit from it. Me as an online student, I think I found one of the keys to success that we haven't really mentioned and that I love about BYU-Idaho's online degree and certificate program is that you get the opportunity to celebrate those small successes because we earn certificates on our path to earning our associates and our bachelor's degree. And it might seem silly to think, oh, I've got this little piece of paper in the mail, but it's so exciting that day when you get that piece of paper in the mail that says you've earned something, you have this tangible product that shows the work that you've completed. So take the opportunity to celebrate those successes. One of the keys to success that the online programs taught me is uh, to share what I learned. And in doing that, it's helped me to retain everything that I thought I wouldn't be able to remember. I was surprised at the amount of work and the amount of reading that I had to do. And it was kind of intimidating. What I've learned is that that's what makes it so great because it has taught me to be a learner, to desire to learn and to look for opportunities to learn even when I'm not in school. Something that helped me to understand and ease a little bit my anxiety and know what to expect from classes is to always read the syllabus of your classes. It tells you everything. Each week of the class, what you have to do what is expected from you, which kind of technology you have to use, the resources you have to use, and how to reach out for help, it's always there. So that will be a lifesaver sometimes if you use it. Honestly, it was just, uh, I didn't necessarily have a quiet space to retreat to, to go back to and, and uh, find a place that I could be on my own to be able to do my studies. And so I had to do some other things 
funny enough, I found a, an online noise generator that was a black noise or white noise for me. And I'd put my headphones in and it would do some noise canceling and let me focus on my schoolwork. And, and everybody kind of ran around me, but it was very successful for me. And I did that for a number of years. Um, I like to convince myself that things are due sooner than they are because um, it just life gets in the way. So if something's due Friday, I tell myself it's due Tuesday or Wednesday. And I like kind of mentally like do this to myself to, I don't know, cause fear or something, but it has really helped me improve like the quality of my work. And then also um, just making sure everything gets done on time. So one thing that I wanted to bring up was in, in Doctrine and Covenants 121, where we learned that pure knowledge shall uh, greatly enlarge the soul. So and if we're doing anything um, by attending school, we are gaining that pure knowledge. And in the end, it's helping us uh, for our, etern our eternal goals. And everything that we do and put in right now will be something that we'll be able to carry with us in the afterlife. Um, I think the biggest advice I could give to new students is to just get to work this uh, program is a real blessing. Um, I really liked what Carrie said about it being a pathway. Um, I, my whole life, have despised formal education. When I got home from my mission, I enlisted in the military to try to get away from it. And if it weren't for pathways, I never would have pursued my college education. I would have gotten a bachelor's degree. And I wouldn't be where I'm at today, a graduate student at USC. This program has really changed my life and has provided me so many amazing opportunities. And as I continue into my work career, I think I'm going to look back and be very grateful that the Lord provided this program for me. Welcome to BYU Pathway Worldwide. My name is Clark G. Gilbert, and I'm the president of BYU Pathway. I want to congratulate you on becoming a student in a program that I know will have a profound impact on your life and be a blessing to you as you progress through your studies. I became the president of BYU Pathway Worldwide in 2017. And since that time, I have seen many miracles. I am certain that the Lord is guiding this organization. And I also know that he is active in the lives of our students. Heavenly Father believes deeply in the importance of his children gaining an education. The leaders of the church are watching the growth of BYU Pathway and how it is blessing the lives of thousands of Latter-day Saints. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland said in a special broadcast, We are part of a monumental moment in church education. This is one of those pivotal marks in our history that we won't fully understand until we look back at it years and maybe decades from now. This is truly a monumental moment, and you are part of that moment. BYU Pathway Worldwide will bless your life as you move forward in your studies with faith and optimism. Even in the face of sacrifice and struggles, perhaps you are a recently returned missionary starting Pathway Connect or a parent starting online courses while juggling children and other responsibilities. Or maybe you're returning to school after taking a long break. No matter who you are or your current situation, the Lord is aware of you and he has prepared a path for you to pursue your higher education at this time. Even when trials and tribulations come along, remain steadfast in your decision to obtain an education. Now I encourage each of you, if you haven't already, to think about why you are continuing your education. Write down your why, your deeper purpose for learning, if you don't know it already, then find it. Then post it somewhere where, you'll, where you will see it often. Share it with your family and those who are supporting you. When times get difficult, and they will, you can turn back to your deeper purpose and find your motivation to keep going. As you press forward and encourage those around you to do the same, 
I promise the Lord will guide you to the valleys he has prepared for you. Know that we are cheering for you. We are praying for you. We know this will be a great experience in your life. And I promise you that you will have help from other students, from service missionaries, from instructors, and most importantly, from the Lord. Press forward and watch the blessings flow into your life. To close our orientation, I invite you to watch this short video and learn about the vision prophets and apostles have for BYU Pathway Worldwide and for each of our students. I ended up struggling, trying to find something, some meaning in my life. School was always something that was very challenging for me. I felt like a huge failure. Education is such a struggle in West Africa that the competition is high. We were all searching for the same thing, which was to better our lives, and Heavenly Father led us here. I don't think that any other program that I would have been able to find would have the same type of impact on my life. The creation of BYU Pathway Worldwide brings an innovative approach to education. When I heard about the program, I, um, I was filled with joy and gratitude. The First Presidency and the Church Board of Education announced today the creation of a new church-wide higher education online organization to be called BYU Pathway Worldwide. One of the wonderful things BYU Pathway has done is to open the opportunity for education to those who have been invisible, who believed that education, especially a church education, was for someone else, not for them, who had little hope for a better future. They are covenant keepers. They are faithful. And the Lord will pour down blessings upon their heads. And one of the ways He will do it will be through education. We are all wanting to become um, like our Heavenly Parents. We need to learn everything we can. From the young man in Puebla who traveled hours for the first Pathway Connect gathering in Mexico City, to the single mother in Utah forced into a situation she never planned, to the father in West Africa seeking to provide for his family, to the returned missionary in Boston we never thought college was a possibility. BYU Pathway students are constructing temples of learning in their own lives. Pathway has been able to grow because of the huge and wonderful existing organization and resources of the church all over the world. BYU Pathway is a school in Zion wherever Zion is. I encourage each person, regardless of age, to continue to learn. You will grow academically, professionally, and spiritually as you seek to enhance your education. It's an opportunity to, for people to change their hearts and to become powerful disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ and to become closer to their Heavenly Father. It helped me to have faith again. Um, it really helped reestablish some connections with God that I had been missing out on for a long time. And I'm doing my homework, I'm spending time with my kids, I'm studying the scriptures, I'm hearing from the brethren, and I don't see a downside to that. The light can be seen in our countenances. There is a difference between how we looked before and how we look now. To discover things about myself that I didn't know were there. I was going through a very, very low point in my life. I didn't quite know what to do. And, and to find out that I could still, that I could still become a disciple through Pathway really, really helped me out. I am so, and I'm seriously so excited about graduation day. It's a dream. I cannot say 
how grateful and blessed and loved I feel. That means I'm just closer to my dream. BYU Pathway is part of the great gathering that's happening in our time because it connects people from many different places around the world to education, to progress, and to the blessings of the gospel. We live in a day of miracles. I believe BYU Pathway is one of those miracles. It has a role to play in strengthening the kingdom of God and establishing Zion. I hope that each of you special students can realize the inspiration of this program and the blessing it has been and will continue to be in your own lives. We're part of a monumental moment in church education in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is one of those pivotal marks in our history that will uh, we won't fully understand till we look back at it years and maybe decades from now.